It's KGB. We gon' set it right. We only tell the truth. The truth straight way Straight from the scripture Straight way To you straight no chaser The truth straight way All right, shalom, shalom, saints. Welcome to the KGB Live Show with your host, Brother Kabir Baja Biamela. Woo! Woo! Alrighty, we got a we got a, a, full, a full, studio. full studio live. This is in front of a live studio studio, <laughs> studio audience here. Alrighty, you guys, thank you. I think this week is going to be a great week, a great show. We got the equipment that we need. There should be no interruption by the grace of Yah. Um, so, um, guys, hey, this is what it takes, and uh, we 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 shoot for excellence. Everything we do, we want to do it for excellence, and so. Um, it's going to continue getting better from here. Um, so anyway, I'm going to have uh, Brother David um, give us the announcement. Hallelujah. Uh, let's all do a quick sound check first. Testing one, two, three. Uh, guys, let us know how we're coming in. Give us an A for great and a zero if uh, it's horrible. Are and you we'll wait for those to come in. Are you able to show website by TV thing or no, for people can see it? I'd have to log into Facebook. So. Oh, okay. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Could you do that or no? I could. Okay. Just to show people, I just want to. That thing comes up. Good, good, great, great. Eight. You got eight. How's the video quality too? Put video. Put V8. Put V8 for uh, great for the video quality, and put V0 if it's for bad. That's good. Yeah, we 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 did some uh, we did some upgrades. upgrades here we did some major upgrades Internet so upgrade. I'll be literally shocked if we have any issues today <clears throat> now believe it or not my my oh good v a v eight eight a eight meaning for audio thank you Tyler that would be Tyler um, <laughs> but um but we are going to uh, this is I'm excited I'm excited about this setup here so uh, yeah all right, Saints, so uh, obviously we are back for another show. This is episode 34. So, so far we've had 34 episodes, Brother Kabir. We believe that. Yes. Growing up. Um, anyway, Saints, uh, you guys, uh, some quick announcements. Or Can you guys like, hear Brother David? Can yeah, hear am you? I coming in clear? Are you, is he coming in clear? Can you guys hear him? Because I know you got that screen. Talk. Do a, do a check, check. Check, check, One, two, one, two. You guys hear me? Do you have a mic over there too? Did you did you have another mic before or no? We tried doing it, but it's just not the right setup. Okay. 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 David is cleared. Somebody yeah. said okay. All right. Mother, uh, sister Jennifer says cleared. Okay. All right. All right. Shalom, blessings, sister Jennifer. All right. So uh, last week, guys, we had uh, obviously you see our sh our show title last week. Um, it, it was a pretty eventful, uh, very eventful week from Monday to Monday. Obviously, mm -hmm. the week starts on Sunday, first day. Uh, but from uh, from the last KGB live show to now, it was uh, very eventful. Uh, obviously, a lot of you guys already know if you've been keeping uh, if you've been checking into the KGB ninety four TV channel, you guys know what's going on uh, with uh, Straight with Praise Land. What we've been dealing with here, uh, I'm sure I speak for Brother Kabir. We appreciate all the prayers. Uh, for uh, Straight with Praise Land, and uh, we thank you for that, Saints. Also, uh, if you've if you've been noticing, uh, we've been uh, consistent with the Berean moment. So this past Berean moment, we wrapped up Brother Richard's uh, Berean moment episode. So it was a part two. It was a two-part episode. So if you guys didn't uh, um, watch that, make sure you guys go back and check that out. Um, we thank you guys for uh, supporting the Brian moment. Uh, I think it came in a timely, uh, timely uh, matter, uh, considering the the current events that have been uh, surrounding Straightway uh, as a whole. So um, that was definitely y'all led uh, uh, by Brother Kabir. Uh, I guess setting up the theme for uh, the Brian moment uh, for this year's uh, season. But anyway, uh, last week we had Pastor Dow on the Shabbat message. Uh, he's back in town, so we thank Yah that our shepherd made it back home safely. Um, and it's always a it's always a blessing seeing him refreshed 
and then ready to go. And, and obviously, if you've been keeping track with Facebook, been going live, and also Patreon, and, and on his YouTube, uh, unfortunately, he's not able to rest as much as we would like him to. As, as, as much as he's outside of the country, he's still having to deal with the damage control um, from uh, the events that happened this past week with people falling off, uh, so on and so forth. But anyway, Saints, I don't have too much for you guys this uh, uh, for this section. I'm sure I'll come back later on at, uh, towards the end and give you guys a full uh, update in terms of what's coming up next. Um, but Brother Kabir, the All title right. of the show. Is, All right. Uh, for Yah so love the world. Well, the so, title of the show for Yah so love the world. Why, how are you doing tonight, brother Kabir? How are you doing? I'm How's doing good, doing? guys. It's been it's been a um uh, a, a good eventful week, but it's um it's sobering. I don't know if I'm using the right word, but it's been very sobering. To um I've been a part of this Green Bay uh, community, if that's what they want to call it. I've been a part of the Green Bay in this area for. 19 years. I'm going on 19 years that I've been a part of this community. Um, played for the Green Bay Packers uh, for nine years and lived here 10 years later. I mean, I think this is the longest place I've ever lived. Uh, next to it now would be Los Angeles, California. Uh, lived there for 18 years or actually 17 years, Los Angeles. Then moved to San Diego lived there for five years and then i've been here in green bay wisconsin for 19 years got married out here uh, twice um, had all my sons and daughter all right here and um was loved was loved by the world became a christian green bay uh, uh at a time had a special place in my heart you know this is where i got this is where I came to have my Jesus moment. I've, I've been many times, but I have my Jesus moment where I actually went from um, Islam to Christianity, accepted Jesus Christ as my uh, master and savior, um, uh, played for the Green Bay Packers, obviously, you know, and so had a great career here. Uh, was loved by the fans, loved by the church community, the Christian community. And, um, and now been here long enough to go to the point of being loved to now being hated so hated that now um police are being called to me i've had more run in with the law uh with uh, police um than i've ever had in my whole life uh, i grew up in south central los angeles if you ever you know I'm, I'm i'm 42 years old now if you ever uh uh ever go back to the classics of old movies have you ever seen the movie called boys in the hood that was my neighborhood. I literally grew up in that neighborhood. They actually filmed the, the movie at the school that I used to go to, Crenshaw High School. And that was my neighborhood. Now, it wasn't as bad as the movie portrayed it in, during my era because that was like that predates me. That was before my time, but it got better. Did you purchase? Yeah, it did. And um, so it's interesting. And, and I was talking to uh, Brother uh, Freddie. And I was talking about how I made Green Bay my home because, you know, you know, when I was going to school, I was um, I was in elementary. I had to be in the second grade. We used to walk to school. I used to have to walk across town and I had the fear of getting shot. I mean, you, we, I, I knew people my own age that were in wheelchair because of drive by shooting. We used to have drive by shooting. Um, you get picked on. You get uh you know, just beat up just for wearing the wrong color. If you wore it, I lived in the Crip neighborhood. So that means Crip wore blue and the blood wore red. So I lived in the, in the, in the Crips uh, area. And so I knew not to wear red. Um, but I remember going to school just as a little, can you imagine a second grader, third grader? What? It wasn't like boom, boom, schools around the corner. I mean, we had to walk. I mean, we didn't go by the school that was near our house because it wasn't a good school. So uh, my dad um, put us in a school that was a better, but it was in a better neighborhood, but we had to walk across. So I remember if, if, if I could draw a line, if you can take a B line from point A to point B, that's the fastest way to get to school. But I used to take the long route because I didn't want to go to the neighborhood where the grass wasn't cut. You saw gang bangs and stuff like that. So I would go to the, I, I would take the the round the roundabout all the way. way all the way around where grass was like cut nice and take that way to get to school <laughs> even though it may have added maybe another 10 minutes to my walk but i just wanted to get to school safely i wanted to get home safely that's another 10 minutes of your life 
Tim is my life. I mean, you can take the shortcut, but then you get you, you may not make it. You know, um, I was the eldest for my dad. I mean, I had older brothers from um, for different fathers, but same mom. But I was the eldest at that time um, when we went to school, and so I had a twin. I have a twin sister. I have uh, another brother. Uh, my youngest brother didn't go to our the same school, but I remember when I would walk to school, I would. Um, I was always had them in front of me so that I can see them because if something ever happened to them, they got kidnapped. I wanted to be able to see so I can protect my my young siblings and my twin sister, but my young brother. This I mean, you guys probably know Akbar. Akbar uh, is the, uh, the the co-host for the American Ninja Warrior. Before he was a little bit taller than me, I used to be his big brother, but I'm his older brother. But uh, I used to keep him safe and keep my sister safe, and I would let them walk in front of me. So that I can see. And if anybody was going to get kidnapped, it was going to be me. So I got, you know, if they took me, I could tell, hey, guys, run, 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 run. You know, we used to have dogs chase put on us. I mean, there was a guy in the neighborhood that when he would see us, he would let his dog out and he would start chasing us. And and I would try to be the distraction, run the fastest so the dog could come after me so it can save my, you know, keep my brothers safe. I mean, this is the type of stuff that I grew up with. So when I came to Green Bay, I thought I was like, man, I was like, it was so beautiful, like. People come to you, they knock on your door, they give you cookies, and they welcome you to the neighborhood. It was like it was like watching the Andy Griffin show or something, like Mulberry. I'm like, wow, this people are just so friendly out here. I mean, they're so kind. And 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 it didn't take long to get hooked. I'm like saying, man, Green Bay is home. I mean, this, I mean, I went to go visit, but I couldn't wait to get back to Green Bay because I just love the community setting. I love how people are friendly and in LA, everybody just walking. I mean, no one takes time to say, hey, how are you doing? Or, you know, smile or whatever. <laughs> I mean, so, but Green Bay, man, people are just, I mean, it's just so nice. They say, how are you doing? How can I help you? I mean, if you want to get extra salt, you can knock on the door. They give people didn't lock doors around. I mean, it just seemed like a, a, an amazing community. Mm. Then you fast forward 19 years later and you find out how wicked this community is. And how this community will rip a family apart and not even think twice. They, they still have the friendly face. They will actually act like nothing has happened. So I ask you, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I just lost my family, and you're asking, and you know that I lost my family, and you act like nothing happened. So, you want to <laughs> guys, I'm telling. I mean, so this is why I stayed there. I fell for the trap. I don't even remember there was a teammate. Actually, he. You know, the teammate that actually joined. I remember when we both retired. I mean, we, I retired first and then he retired later on. And he was going to be out. He was moving out of Green Bay. Who, can't no, no, no. Um, Ryan. Oh, okay. And, um, and I remember, I, I think it was him or his wife. I think mm -hmm. it was his wife. And I remember her saying that you're going to stay here. I said, yeah, why not? She says, um, um, uh, um, what? <laughs> uh, what? Like, I didn't get what she was saying. You know, you know, we, we're not one of them. I'm like, they've been good to me. I don't have an issue with them. They're good. And so they left, and their family's still intact. They had a lot of, they had a lot of sons and daughters, too. And, um, and I'm thinking, like, man, this is a great place. I helped to build the school, Province Academy. They started off at a school. My son... Um, at an old church in the basement, every 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 week they had to break down and they put up, and so I ended up donating a lot of money to the school. I mean, hundreds of thousands of dollars to the school, time, energy. I gave my name as a as a support to help build the school, and and then even the the guy that's the headmaster now, Ron Young, I am the sole person that fought for him. I put my I put my reputation on the line for this man. I put I put my money behind him. I put I mean I put time behind this man. This was not like I believed in him. I believed that he was going to be good for the school and I was going to make sure he was successful. And guess what? He is the one that ended up calling the police on my brothers. He smiled at me in my face and stabbed me in my back. Literally, literally. And so I want to try to do this show and not get too excited because I recognize there's a lot of there's a lot of people watching, people spying on my liberty. Are they going to come back and watch this? So I want to do this to show you that I have the ability to be remain calm. <laughs> now, I was talking to a, 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 a coach of mine back where I grew up, and he says, "You know how it is. 
you know, white folks, and I'm using the words, you know, just throwing it around here, but, you yeah, know, the common, words. The common words, but, you know, you know how the white folks, you know, when black people talk, you know, we talk passionate, you know, we get passionate, and they take it as, he's angry, he's out of control, he's emotional, he's angry, he's bitter, and all it is, we're just talking with passion, you've seen the Nigerian culture, oh, yeah. the, the Nigerian culture like this, uh, Edjo. No, it's like Edjo. Ah, ah, hey, hey. I mean, there's an expression. Oh, oh, okay, I, I was just giving that. Okay. I was giving an example of our culture. Okay, in the Nigerian culture, and that's a cult too. And we're very expressive people, you know. But in the white culture, they're very bound up. I was talking to my brother. They just like they're that's bound. It's like they can't, you know, they can't even move. You know, their butt is tight. Everything is just tight. You know, I mean, they don't express. And it's like. I mean that's not how I was created, you know, and so they, so people think I'm bitter. I, I've even had people this week call me from all over the United States. I have people saying, "Kabir, you're suffering." I've seen comments. I mean, I even had a good friend says, "Kabir, you're, you're suffering from CTE." I mean, too many hits in the brain. I'm like, really? I said, bro, I mean, that's this. I said, that's not me. I, I said, y'all forbid that is not me. Maybe that's you, but that's not me. I'm perfectly fine, you know. I don't have mood swings. I'm perfect. I'm I'm even killed. Believe it or not, I'm very that even killed. Better. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so I'm more peace. Yeah, I'm, there's more peace in my life and everything like that. So, but guys, why do I say all of this stuff? I want to show you guys something. Yeah, I'm gonna start off in this thing. Let me start off. Let me go to John three sixteen, guys. Let me well, let, let me get to the scripture here. I want to show you something. Everybody knows that one. Because. Before I do that, let me let me just let me read this to you. This is the, the and you guys already heard the story about uh, Brother Ryan and Brother Jordan, who's actually in the studio live in the studio hey, here. Hey, hey guys, give a shout out here! Come on, come on, yeah, so long. They still they're not in jail. They're here at Straightway Praise Land, and we got the gates closed. No Praise trespass. So don't be coming up here. And but listen to this. You would think like. Jordan and Ryan, just come over here. I just want you guys to see this. This is my black Hebrew Israelite brothers, okay? I want you to see how black they can get. Right there, just wait. Just, just come in here. Just wait. That This is Brother Jordan right here. And then you got Brother uh, Ryan. Where's Brother Ryan? Brother, Brother Ryan right here. Right there. You guys see them? You see how black they are right there? They're right here. So if anybody's on the lookout for these two, if there anyone is on the lookout for two, Please call 911. We just want to know where they are. Well, you don't have to call. They're here at Straightway Praise Land. And so if you, need, if you need chit chat with them, they're right here. Just just call the uh, gate and somebody will get to you. All right, you guys can sit down. Yeah. yeah, so there go my black Hebrew Israelite friends. I mean, I don't know. I, hey, I thought you had to be black to be a part of this group. What yeah, the yeah. world is going on? But anyway, listen to this, guys. Here's, guys, I can't make this up. Police report. This is what it says. Police to schools. The police, the Green Bay, uh, the Green Bay Police Department put a word out says, "Be on the lookout for Baja Biamilla associates involved in the disturbance outside the church." What in the world? I mean, be on the lookout. Like you would think these guys are fugitives. I mean, so now can you imagine they just go up the store? Hey, be on the lookout. Okay, you see them. What are you gonna do? You gonna call nine one one? They even put in here. Uh, and the, why is it got to be Baja being an associate? I wasn't arrested. Why is my name all popped up, right? Exactly. But but then school Providence shut the school down for two days. Now they're going into their Christmas break. Shut it down for what? Literally trying to villainize us, make us seem like we're some type of crazy people, like we're some type of like we wait, like we're dangerous people, and and putting our lives on the line. Uh, 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 on the thing, Wait, right here. Like it says, a vehicle possibly associated with the incident and a black 2015 Escalade license plate. I mean, I, what in the world? Listen to this, guys. And what did what did they do wrong? What did they do wrong? Here's what they did wrong. Do you know why Ryan, brother Ryan, and brother Jordan was guilty? You know what they're guilty of? Being associated with me. They were sitting down, enjoying the festivity, getting ready to watch this beautiful show, get some footage, and leave. And Ron says, are you guys with Kabir? I'm going to have to ask you to leave. That's it. We put a couple memes That's on. That's it. <laughs> then it went straight to 911. Boom. You got six police cars. As if this was planned. And now, they, by the time I get on the scene, already their head comes being head to the car. I'm like, what in the world? I've never experienced this before. I was never in the gang before. 
but I guess I'm in a gang called Straight Weight. You know, our, our lead gang member, Pastor Dow. <laughs> and your the shepherd, boss. he's the boss. The you know what I'm saying? So anyway, but, oh, right here. Look at this, guys. Right here, look. This is official. I mean, they made the paper, and I'm right there on top. It says police asked look at, schools to watch for men involved in trespassing gun incident at West Side Church. West Side? Guys, look at this. How come it doesn't say school? Man, this is, I mean, guys, this is, it's, it's, the, the story is just off the chain. So, anyway, I'm going to tell you, if you see these guys, ask them for their autographs, okay? Do that, okay? <laughs> Go up there. They're, they're safe. They won't hurt you, okay? Now, if you try to do something, they're going to have to protect themselves. But anyway, but let me read something to you guys here. Let me start here. John 3.16. Let me read here. John 3.16. John 3.16 says this. It says, For Yah so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The reason why I want to start off with this verse is because this is the world that Christianity loved to quote. They love to quote John 3.16. People like to paint it on their face. John 3.16, love the world. You love the world. Matter of fact, Christmas is right around the corner. What's today's day? The 23rd in two days, they're going to be celebrating the supposedly birth. Of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ. They're going to be celebrating everybody's birthday. They're going to do everything, but it's going to be in vain. But let me keep reading. It says, verse 17. This, I always say, how can we never continue going past 316? What's 17? It says, for God <laughs> sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believe on him is not condemned, but he that believe not is condemned already. Because he had not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation. That light, that light, that light has come into the world. And men, what does men love? Men love Dark. darkness. Darkness rather than the light. And because of their because their deeds were evil. Ron Young deed was evil, so he didn't want my brothers to get the footage of him using my property without consent. He wanted to stop that. But let me keep reading. So their deeds were evil for everyone that do is evil. Listen to this, guys. This has nothing to do with black Hebrew Israelite straightway or whatever. This has to do with men being loving evil. Say so for everyone that do it evil hate the light neither come to the light lest his deeds should be reproved but he that doeth truth come to the light that his deeds may be made and manifest that they were wroth in Yah you guys see this see it's kind of like cockroach when you have, if, if I, when I grew up in LA, we used to have roach issues, right? We used to have roaches. And you never see the roaches during me. Maybe once in a blue moon, you see a roach here and there in the mid day, you know, in, in, during the uh, daylight. But at night, if you went downstairs, you went down the stairs, you wanted to get some milk and chuck, uh, milk and cookies or something. I don't know. You, you just going down there and you turn the light and all of a sudden you see all these roaches. And I'm talking about, there's a lot of them and they're so. They, I mean, I'm talking about, it's like, oh, you think that you spray some, they just scatter. Shoom. It reminds me of something in the word. What does the word say here in Proverbs? Proverbs Proverbs 20, I believe it's 28. Let me see. 28 1 says this. It says, the wicked flee when no, no man pursue it, but the righteousness is bold as a lion. So these cockroaches literally just flee because they hate the light. Because their deeds are evil. They eating up a food and doing stuff they shouldn't be doing. And then when you turn the light, they flee. That's what Christians are. Christians are like cockroach. They're roaches. And they 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 and they love darkness. And when light shows up on the scene, guess what they do? They run. They scatter. And so right now, all of Green Bay is scattering. They're afraid because light has come into the world. You have two of my brothers. I mean, they are light skinned, so maybe they are light, but that's not what's that's not why they're light. They're light because of their faith in Yeshua Hamashiach. I'm I'm dark as it gets here, and I'm I cause havoc because I'm light. 
And the reason I, I found out why Christians have a problem with me. I found out why this community has a problem with me well, is because my master, Yeshua Hamashiach, is the light of the world. And because we abide in him, we also become his light. And that light shines. You can't hide it. And so because we live in a dark world, they can't help but to fear us. They literally want me out of town. They want to get me and my community out of town because we are shining a light on these wicked ass people. That's what's happening right now. I'm going to show you. This is, this is all about... Hey, what it says, for, for Yah so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Listen to this. Let me go to Matthew. Let me go to Matthew. I got to go to this one. Let me go to Matthew. Matthew, go with me, Matthew chapter 5, verse 2. I'm going to start right here. It says right here, this is all Jesus. Did you know when I went on to, um, I went on to uh, Providence Academy's website, uh, uh, their, their Facebook, and all I did was put the quote of Jesus I just put the quote of Jesus. And when I was putting the quote of Jesus, did you know they kept on deleting the quote of Jesus and we're celebrating Jesus' birthday? Well, how does that work? How do you take Jesus? I didn't even put none of my opinion in there. All I did was take a quote from Jesus and put it in there and they just kept deleting it to the point where now they blocked me out. I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to encourage you guys to go to Providence Academy. And actually, the name of the, you'll see on there says, uh, Old Children Come, or uh, Old Children yeah, Come. the most recent video. Yes, the most recent video. And go put in, go put a Jesus quote. I will tell you the quote I put in, but let me read this for, for you guys. But anyway, it says this in Matthew 5, verse 3. It says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. And I experience all of these. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they that do hunger and thirst after righteousness, doing what's right in Yah's eyes, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see Yah. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children or the sons of Yah. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness. Why did they call the uh, police on, why did Ron Young call the police on my two brothers? Because of righteousness. Because of Yeshua HaMashiach. Blessed are you. So Ryan, Jordan. You guys are blessed. You know why? Because this is what it says. It says, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sakes. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. You guys should be rejoicing. You've been persecuted. You experienced exactly what Yeshua HaMashiach said will happen to you. 2,000 years he called it. He called it. He says, blessed are ye when men shall revile you. Are we not being reviled? Is this not being reviled? For what? For going to a Christmas program because we were armed according to the Constitution. We have a right to be armed. I'm sure there was other people who were There's other people armed. Why did we, why did my brothers get singled out? I know Providence Academy's policy. They encourage people to be armed because you're going into an environment. You got people going around, real people, real bad people going around shooting up the place. And they said, we're going to arm ourselves to make sure that we can protect ourselves. And now my brothers get, 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 put, get uh, singled, out. singled out. For what? Because of what? Their association with me. So listen to this. Look at this. Are we not being reviled? Look at it says. Police ask schools to watch for the men involved in trespassing. Gun incident at the West Side. West Side. Sorry, I had to get that out. Church, listen to this. So, guys, listen to this. It says, Blessed are they when men shall revile you and shall persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely. For my sake, rejoice, rejoice, and be exceedingly glad. Ryan, Jordan. Be glad, rejoice, rejoice, for great is your reward in heaven, 
For so persecuted the prophets which were before you. Guys, we are in the truth. This, it, guys, when I was Christianity, I've never experienced this type of persecution before. I told you I grew up in South Central Los Angeles. Never had a run in with the police. Matter of fact, the chief of police is from Los Angeles. He would even tell you how dangerous it is. Matter of fact, working for Green Bay is like a luxury. There's not much going on out here. Not like where it was in L.A. during the riots. I was in the L.A. riots when Ronnie King got beat up by the police and they think we couldn't go to school. That, that was a reason not to go to school. Places was getting burnt up. I mean, literally, the place, my neighborhood, stores, was literally being burnt up. And now you got Green Bay on, on, a, on red, cold red alert. Cancel school. There's been a riot. Two white men. Oh, two black people. <laughs> what the hell? And they have, for what? Trespassing? Bearing arms according to the Constitution that give us their right to bear arms for the purpose of security, for defense, for hunting, for anything that's lawful? It's right there in the Constitution. Look it up. Guys, I'm telling... Okay, did I tell you I can calm down? Sorry, guys. Let me let me go back into character again. Let's go okay. back to Green Bay. Let me, let, me, let me go back to Green Bay. Sorry, guys. I get I get excited about the word. But they'll, they'll accuse you that this is CTE. I, I assure you this is not. But anyway, it says rejoice. Rejoice. And be exceedingly glad. And great is your reward in heaven. For the persecuted day, the prophets which were before you. Now, let me go here. Verse 13. It says, ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savior, wherewith shall it be salted? And thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trotted under the foot of men. Hmm. Ye are the light of the world. You are the light of the world and the cities that set on a hill cannot be hid. You know we live on Hill Drive? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> we literally live on a hill. We are right on a hill. Under right the there. <laughs> Dang. That prophecy. How did Jesus know we live on a street called Hill? And then we would be a light. Country, and I think your power is a little bit higher because everybody else gets flooded. Exactly. <laughs> and we're on the hill. We are living here. People get. Bro, man. God, I can't make. Am I making this thing up? No. Am I making. We live on a street called Hill. Nobody needs okay, sorry, but they, you know, it's just like they knew what Pastor Dow was. You know what that code is? Go to pumpkin, pumpkin drive. I'm like, dang. <laughs> so anyway, so Mickey says, we are the light of the world. The city set on a hill cannot hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick and is given light unto all that are in the house. Let your light shine before men. This is what Yah told us. This is what Yeshua told us to do. He said, Let your shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. So, all you people that's watching this stuff, if you say you are part, if you believe in Yeshua HaMashiach and you keep his commandment, you should be rejoicing. You should be able to glorify your Father in heaven because you can see that his words are being testified today is to be true. We are literally being persecuted for doing nothing. We're be, we're not, not, when I'm saying nothing, we're persecuted just because of our faith in Jesus Christ. Because we want to keep the commandments of Yah. Because we don't want to celebrate uh, Christmas because we know that's an abomination. This is why we're being persecuted. Because you know why? Because they hate Yeshua himself. If Yeshua is here right now and they're supposedly doing a birthday party for him, they will literally put him on a rope and put him on a tree and lynch him. And not even think twice about it, and they'll justify and say, "Man, we're doing we're doing Yah's service." But guys, this 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 is the world we live in. We're supposed to be a light of the world. Let me go to another one, John fifteen. John fifteen. John fifteen, verse seventeen. I'm going to start at verse seventeen. Look where it starts off and say right here. It says, "These I command you that ye love one another." Do you see what? Look at guys, this, this, this walk is about love. Christianity is about hate. They don't know how to show hospitality. When you show up to their events or you show up to their home, they literally will kick you out. But when you come to our home, we show you amazing hospitality. You can't deny it. Did we call the police on Ron? 
No. We made him, feel we made him feel comfortable. We got him coffee. He wanted it black. Whatever he wanted. We try to make him feel comfortable. Even though he opposes us. And then we go over there, just minding our own business, just getting in and getting out, and he calls the police on us. They probably would have, if Jesus was in there, they probably was like, hey, aren't you friends with Kabir? Kabir? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, Jesus friends with, he'll say Kabir's friends with me. <laughs> that's, what, that's what he said. Oh, you're the problem. But, and then if Peter was there, he'd be like, oh, is that a sword? Is that, yeah, a it's sword? a sword. You got to do that. I mean, don't sell your two cloak and get two swords. Jesus said, get the sword. So are we wrong for listening to our Messiah, for carrying, for bearing? He told us to sell our coat and carry our sword. That's all we did. And did not Jesus say, do not deny the little children to come unto me? So the same man that said, do not deny the little children to come to me, he didn't say, oh, but guys, when we're around the children, don't carry your sword. So I tell you guys, this is just off the chain. This is off the chain. But let me read here. There's things I command you, that ye love one another. If the world hates hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. Are we good? Yeah, no, we're good. Okay. We just have some sh chat issues. It says, verse 19, if ye were of the world, play for the Green Bay Packers, and the world will love his own, but because, but because, uh-oh, but because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hated you. So, guys, listen to this stuff. When Jesus chooses you, you will be hated. Yeah. Straight up. I mean, let me pause here. Go to, go to 2 Timothy. If you go to 2 Timothy 3.12, it says this in 3.12. It says, "Ye," he says, Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Listen to this. Yea, all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Is Ron Young suffering persecution right now? Is the Christian community here suffering persecution? Everybody in the world is participating in this Christmas event. We're not. And we're being persecuted because we're being obedient to what Jesus says. He didn't say celebrate his birth. He said celebrate my death. I like what, uh, Do this in remembrance of me. Uh, brother, uh, brother Tristan. But Ron Young has CTE, Christian terror extremist. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true right there. So, guys, this is this is off the chain here. This is off the chain. But let me keep reading here. And it says this. But if the world, it says, okay, you guys, it says, hate you. It says, but Jesus, says, remember, remember the words that I've said unto you. The servant is not greater. The great the servant is greater than his master. And if they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. And if they have kept my sayings, they will also keep yours also. Mm -hmm. But all these things they will do unto you for my name's sake. Are we not about the truth? Are we not about Yeshua HaMashiach? Are we not about keeping his commandments? Are we not abiding in Jesus because of the fact that we abide in Jesus? He says, if you even before this, if you go before that, he says, abide in me and I'll abide in you. That's the problem. He says, if you keep my commandments, verse 10, if you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love. But in Christianity, they don't abide in his love because they're not keeping his commandments. And we know that they're not abiding in his love because they're not being persecuted. If anything, they're the persecutor, and they're the one that get to call. Who did the law choose? Who did the unjust, unjust law choose to protect? Protect the wicked people. Mm. And the people who are righteous, they're the one that was put in handcuffs and thrown in jail. Yep. They're the one that was kicked out of the synagogues. They're the one that was kicked out. Not the Christians. The Christians are the wicked ones. You will know them by their fruit. So all you people that that think that, I'm telling you, Pastor Dow, he did the, I, I think he was just being nice. But Christianity is a wicked religion. It is a, it is a, it is the religion of Satan, of the devil, Satan, the Hasatan. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't stress it enough. These things I've spoken to you that my joy may remain in you and that your joy may be full. This is the commandment to love one another as I have loved you. Did, did Jesus call the police on his disciples? Did he call them? And Ron says that he believes in Jesus, but he's going to call. And we say we believe in Jesus, and he's going to call the police on us. Mm -hmm. 
But all these things they would do, verse 21, but all these things they would do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. Mm -hmm. See, Ron does not know Jesus. Christians do not know Yeshua HaMashiach. They do not know him. That's why they do the things they do. And that's why it will, be, it will behoove us not to be offended. Mm. So I come in here just to put our narratives out there. Because right now, we're being painted as if we're the black Hebrew Israel extremists. Going around shooting up places. And I'm not even saying they're doing it. But that's what they're trying to associate. I just showed you two brothers. Caucasian. White as they can be. And they're, matter of fact, I was talking to a brother today, a, a guy today, and he says, yeah, but he's a part of that black Hebrew Israelite. And he said, did you know the two people that got arrested were white? She says, no, I didn't know. People just running wow. off and gossiping. They literally thought the two people that got arrested were black because black Hebrew Israelite. So if they're black Hebrew Israelite, there must be black people that got arrested. Wow. There are two white men arrested because of their association to me. For what? Because of their association to me. That's it, guys. And then from there, it went to, we're going to search you. Unreasonable search and seizure. They searched them. Found weapons on them. They have a God-given right to bear arms. Even according to the Constitution of Wisconsin and the Constitution of the United States. To bear arms for protection, for, for defense, for hunting. Man, I tell you guys, this is I, I can't make this thing up. Let me keep reading. He says, but all these things I've spoken because they did not know him. Verse 22, if they had come, he says, now listen to, this is the type of life that we're doing because of what we're doing. And Jesus breaks it down. I'm, that's why I'm just going to keep reading along. Jesus said this, if I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not, they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin. See, Ron can't hide and say, well, we didn't know. He is literally going to be judged on how he handled my brothers. He's going to be judged on how he handled me. And everybody that's following that wicked woman, of um, uh, that ex-wife, you are partaking in her sin. And what she has done is very, 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 very wicked. I'm not saying the wicked from a bitterness, but it's just wicked. It's not right. And hey, what's wicked mean, Brother Jordan? You good with words. What does wicked mean? Dysfunctional. Dysfunctional. No function. She's not functioning right. What type of mother would take away? What kind of mother would take the sons and daughter away from the father? Dysfunctional. Didn't Jesus say that anyone that calls these little one who believes in me to stumble and not believe in me, they have been better off to put a millstone around their neck and drown in the depth of the sea? Come on. That's what Jesus said. <clears throat> I didn't say it. That's what my master said. Let me keep reading. I've got these are just Jesus quotes. I'm going. I'm, I'm just going to stay focused on Jesus. Look what Jesus says. He says, "If I had not come and spoken unto them, if Ryan and them did not come, they would have no sin. But now, guess what? Ron has sin because light has shown up in the world, and he was able to pick them out from all the white people. You would think now, those black people, maybe they would stood out. But out of all the white people, my two brothers stood out. You know why? Because they're light." And he, he can easily spot them out. They, they suck out like a sore thumb. When you're around evil, when you're around darkness and you see two light people, I'm not talking about the skin color. I'm just talking about two people who are the light of the world. They stick out. Ron can see them from a distance. Matter of fact, when they try to turn off the light and do their show, it was distracting everybody because there's too much light in the room. Who got the light on? Those two guys. Go get them. Are you with Kabir? Because I know that light. For me, I know that light. You know Kabir. I got to ask you to leave. <laughs> you guys are too happy. Oh, man, I'm telling you. There's too much light in you. Much I'm expecting a lot of darkness. And when I see the light, I got to get rid of that light. That's what Ron was doing. He says this. He says, he that hated me hated my father also. So guys, guess what? Brother, brother Jordan, brother Ryan, don't trip. They hate Jesus too. They hate the father. No, it's not. It's, don't take it personal. We're just connected to the Father. We're connected to Yeshua HaMashiach. So because of the hate they have for him and the hate they have for Jesus, they hate us too. The hate is real. We're associated. So yeah, they say, you look, at, I mean, I'm not Jesus, but you got in trouble because of your association with me. 
and, you're, and, and, my, and the reason why I'm in trouble is because my association with Jesus. And Jesus and drug is associated with the Father. You see that? We're, just, we're, we're guilty by association. And we plead guilty. We are guilty to be associated with Yeshua HaMashiach. We're not going to do what Peter did. I understand. Yes, we know Jesus. We are followers of Yeshua HaMashiach. And we keep his commandments. And we're proud. If I have to go to jail, so be it. If I have to die, so be it. To live is to gain, and to live is to what did I say? To live is to for Christ, to, and to die is for gain. To die is for so, guys, I'm not afraid. You guys already took things that I thought was important, and now I have strength, I have boldness, I have courage that I can stand up to anything now, because I know at the end of the day, when 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 hell broke loose in my home two years ago, the only person that that I knew that loved me. When everybody was hating me was Yeshua HaMashiach. I knew he loved me. And I can tell you. I, and matter of fact, Brother Ryan, Brother Jordan, Freddie, all of my brothers here who's living me straightway, my pastor. This is evidence that Yah loves me. He brought help. I didn't even have to move. I, I'll be willing to move, but I didn't, he brought them here. I remember pastor said, hey, do you want us to bring 100 men there to protect you? I said, pastor, I actually believe you, but I'm good. But look what's happening. Pastor even called it. He says, "He says you watch. There's gonna be a community. It's gonna be a. It's gonna be a, a straightway here. Watch what happened. And now we're shaking up the world. Literally, what do I say today? We shook up the world. New York Post. The whole world sees us now. Fox News. New York. For what? For living for Jesus. For loving Jesus. This is it. And they'll tell you I have CTE. Sorry, guys. I, I try to hold my composure. I can. I can only act white for so long. <laughs> My, forgive me. Forgive me. This is my culture. It's another culture. I'm in a new culture, but I have another culture I come from, man. Huh? It's all bad. It's all bad. Let me go. So anyway, he says this. He says, if they have done this to them, um, he says, if I had not done this to them, okay, they, uh, he says, if I had not done this among them, the works which was, which is none other man did, they had not, they had not sinned. But now, have they both seen and hated both me and my father? But this comes to pass that the word, that the word might be fulfilled, that it is written in their law. They hated me without cause. Did Ron have a reason to call the police on my brothers? No. What was you guys doing in there? Were you guys in there beating people up, making a nuisance in there? What was you guys doing in there? I, what, what did you? Was you guys playing dice in there? Were you guys like throwing dice in there? Okay, was, you, was you? Was you? Was you? Was you selling dope? I mean, what were you guys doing in there? What are you? I seen the video. You were just hanging out, talking to people. People didn't even know there was an issue. And I'm like, whoa! What? what? You guys all I'm like, what did you guys do? Uh, we got too much light. That's it. We're we're light. <laughs> what do you mean, light of the world? <laughs> oh come, oh come, children come. I mean, I mean, this is it. We're Okay. Okay. Anyway, so we're hey, gonna see how this thing works now. Are we looking good? You're looking great so far. Okay, looking great. I love that word. Audio's okay. Gone. Audio's yeah, I, gone. I muted it for a second. I was <clears throat> okay. So guys, look. It says, "But this comes to pass that the word might be fulfilled that is written in their law that they hated me without cause." Ron Young hates me without cause. Ron has nothing against me. He cannot bring any proof of claim, anything I've done to him that was wrong. He can't. Nothing biblically. He can give me his opinions, feelings, and emotions. But he cannot bring anything that I've done to wrong him. But Ron has wronged me. Ron has wronged my two brothers. Ron has trespassed against me. He's doing the trespass. The type of trespass that Yah is going to judge him for. He will be judged on what he did to our brothers. You call him the law? The unrighteous against us? Bro, man, you have hell to pay. You better repent. But knowing your prideful ass, you're not going to repent. And even if you repent, it's, it's, it's worldly sorrow. It's not true sorrow. And the type of sorrow that you have. Because how many last year you called the police on me? Mm -hmm. And what did you do? You did it again. You did it again. See, that type of sorrow leads to time, death. Too. I know what I'm saying. Right? That time. type of sorrow leads to death. But true sorrow, godly sorrow, leads to life, repentance. And you haven't repented? That's, I'm done with you, Ron. Done. 
You don't have to worry about me or my associates ever stepping foot at, at Providence Academy. No we will not have you in our house. You are not welcome here at Straightway Praise Land. I'm putting it out here. You are not welcome. And if you come on our land, we will call the police on you because we're going to follow your examples. We're going to treat you the way you want to be treated because obviously that's how you want to be treated because that's how you treated us. But we treated you with, with love, hospitality, according to the word, according to the law that's done away with according to you. And what did you do? You showed us hate. You rewarded our good. You rewarded us evil for our good. You can't even justify what you did. You know you know the type of people we are, and you're going to call the police. I bet you it was really meant for me. I get it. Well, it's because they're associated with you. Yeah. So anyway, look at this. They hate me without cause. Guys, this is the truth. They hate me without cause. So it goes on and says, and ye shall, it says, and ye also shall bear witness because ye have been with me from the beginning. All right, here we go. Chapter 16, verse 1. See, guys, I'm reading the word. This is all Jesus. Everything I've just read came from Jesus. Red letters. Isn't that what they say? Red letters. This is all Jesus. Yeshua. And says that these things I've spoken unto you that ye should not be offended. Ron. I mean, not Ron. Uh, Jordan. Ryan, don't be offended. Don't be offended. I know they splatter your face all across America. You guys are now, I, you, you're not American most, uh, what you call it, American got talent. <laughs> but I mean, talent. Now you're the American most wanted. Green Bay is throwing up, <laughs> is going crazy with this stuff. But don't be offended. You should be rejoicing. Rejoice. Hallelujah. Be exceedingly glad. Woo! Yours is the, your reward is the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. That's what Yeshua told us. And says verse 2, they shall put you out of the synagogue. Did you not get put out of the church? Man, I mean, you guys even did one better than me. I just got kicked out. You guys got arrested. Woo! Man, you guys, I mean, I mean I'm looking forward to seeing that reward. No, hey, stay in the truth, man. You guys got it. You guys are going to high places. Are you young? Man, they shall put, Jesus says, do you see Chris, you see Ron Young being put out of the synagogues? Do you see him getting arrested because of his love for Jesus? We are literally being hated on because of our relationship with Jesus Christ. We are literally being hated because of our love for Jesus. This is it. And these are by the hands of Christians. Christians are doing this stuff. And now they're trying to paint us like we're some type of bad people or whatever. This is exactly what the Pharisees did. The Pharisees, they come in here and be trying to find a way to falsely accuse us. So they can, and to the point they even kill Jesus. And I'm, I'm, guys, let me tell you something. If Ron wanted to, they'd rather have killed me. That's what they were hoping for. I do not put it past him because that's the type of wickedness that is, that is, that's possessing that man. That man is possessed with the devil. Remember two years ago, maybe last year, this man literally put on his Facebook post the face of Jan Janice. Yeah. Turn his head this way. And what kind of, and mocked it. Mocked it. Like it was funny. And then you're going to take my sons and daughter and let them be going in this Christmas ritual when the, against the Father's will? Against the Father's will? Who the hell are you? Ron Young is possessed. Who the hell are you, Ron? He's delivered. And, you, and you're going to allow this Jezebel to, 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 to guide you guys, to lead you into error. He needs to from the, uh, the Christmas let me keep reading here. It says, and they shall put you out of the synagogues. And the time will come that whosoever kill you, kill you. Is that not what they're doing? They, you, would th you would think that he's doing God's service. And these things they will do unto you because why? Why do you do this, Ron? I know why you, Ron. Listen up, Ron. Listen up all you Christian that supports Eileen and Ron Young. And, and the then they're wigging the, the police station. Listen up. Do you know why you do what you do? Do you know why you hate me? Do you know why you hate my brothers? Listen up. I'm going to tell you why you hate me. I'm going to tell you why you hate my associates. I'm going to tell you why you hate the light. Here it is. Listen up. Here it is. Drum rolls, please. Okay, let me calm down. Give me the drum roll. All right. Here it is. Because they have not known the Father nor me. That's why you do what you do. You don't know Jesus. If it was a mic, I think I would do this. But that's why you do it. That's why you do it. You think you know Jesus, but you don't. Even the dog got excited. 
You don't! You don't know Jesus, and you don't even know the Father. Can you guys not just look? Don't go off of it. Just look at the evidence. Look at your footwork. Look at your fruit. What fruit do you have to show? Oh, you're going to get on me my fruit because I talk with passion? What is there's no sin in talking with passion? What did Paul say, I thought I'd be rude in speech, but not in knowledge. Second Corinthians, did he not say it because I rooted it, but not without knowledge? Man, come on. I don't got CTE. Do I have mood swings? Do you guys see the other sin? Man, what are you talking about mood swings? What does that look like? What does that I mean? don't even know. Mood swings. I'm bro. So guys, this let me I want to read this. Look at this. Let me just show you how wicked. Look at this. Go to Numbers chapter 30. Numbers chapter 30. And I didn't even mean to go this long, but I do want to go to our mark just to see how we do. So far, we're an hour through right now. Okay. So listen to this. Okay. It says this. It says, if a woman also vow, right, unto, unto Yahweh and bind himself by bond, being in her father's house in her youth, and her father hear her vows. Listen to this. And the father hear her vows. And her bond wherewith she have bound her soul, and her father shall hold his peace at her. Then all her vows shall stand, and every bond wherewith she had bound her soul shall stand. But if the father disallows, listen to this, if the father disallows in the day that he hear it, and, and, and not any of her vows are of the bonds wherein shall he bind where she had bound her soul shall stand and and Yahweh shall forgive her because her father disallowed it. I told you, Ron, I disallow my sons and daughters from participating in that stuff. If it was Yahweh himself, he would have forgiven and moved off. But you know the blood's on his hands now. Because but now what did you do? You say I just I dishonor the father. I don't give a damn about the father. I'm going to do what I want to do with his own sons and daughter, his property. I'll do as I please. But that's why you're going to have to compensate, brother. You're going to have to compensate. Not brother. For, not brother. But you're going to have to compensate. You will. You, you'll see. You think it's a joke. Look at this. So people say, well, the mother did it. The, 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 the mother wanted the sons and daughter to do it. Okay, let's see. Let's see what Yahweh would do. Let's look. He says, and if she has all, if she had at all a husband, when she vowed and utter alt, utter alt of her lips, within she bound her soul, and her husband heard it, and held his held his peace at her, and the day that he heard it, then her vow shall stand, and her bonds wherewith she bounds her soul shall stand. But if her husband disallows it, Disallow, disallows her on that day that he heard it, then he shall make her vow which she vowed, and that which she uttered with her lips, wherewith she bound her souls of none effect, and Yahweh shall forgive her. How come, when it comes to this, you can say, well, well, uh, uh, they in school, this part, but the father disallowed it. You still went against the father's will. Then you say, well, the mother wanted them to do it. But the husband, the, the true, she is bound to me still to this day. She's still bound to me according to the covenant. And guess what? I disallowed it and you took her over me. You took my, I, I had somebody on my YouTube, I think Pastor Dolly even got on it and said, did you even ask the, the, the children what they wanted? Why in the hell would I have to ask my children, my sons and daughter, if they want to be a part of the show? I don't need to ask them. It's my job to train them up in the way they should go. It's my job. So, entitled. any, huh? Entitled. Entitled. So, guys, that's that's pretty much the word I want to show that, man, when you are light, when you are light of the word, you're going to be persecuted, guys. You're going to be persecuted. This is not, uh, this is not something that you're just going to come in here and think that is, I mean, if you're not being persecuted, there's a good chance that you don't know the most high. Hold on here. I'm, I'm trying to do something here. So if, you, if you're not being persecuted, it's a good chance you don't know the most high. So guys, I'm not crazy. I am crazy for Jesus. I am passionate for Jesus. Just like I, but you know what's so crazy what I notice about my passion for Jesus? When I was passionate going after quarterbacks. I mean, I would rip quarterbacks' heads apart. I would tear them down. And you had Christians, yay! You had everybody in the community jumping up for joy. Like, man, you go get them, KGB. Go get them. They loved me. They cheered. I heard 
fans going crazy. But now the same Kabir, who now is taking his passion from the football field and to keep it to loving Jesus, keeping his commandment, now it's not wanted. It's hated. It's not welcome. I love Jesus. Let the world know, all you people spying on my liberty, I'm not crazy. And if you don't love Jesus, then I guess I'm crazy. But I love Jesus. I've always had and now I've had a greater love for him because now I'm keeping his commandment. And the more I keep his commandments, the more I see how wicked the world is. The more I see how the, the love of people waxes cold. I can see it. And anytime you start keeping the commandments of Jesus and start loving Jesus, he says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. You will see Christianity has always been wicked. And the reason why I couldn't see it is because I was practicing sin. Ignorantly, I was practicing sin. Let me read something for you. It says like this. This is in 1 um, Corinthians. Corinthians chapter uh, was 5, verse 10 says, we are fools for Christ's sake. But ye are wise in Christ. We were weak, but ye are strong. Ye are honorable, but ye are despised. You see, guys, I am a fool for Christ. And I will be a fool for Christ to the day I die. And I'm telling you guys, when I die, I'm telling you, it will truly be considered gain. But while I live, I will live for Christ. And that's what I'm going to be about. So, guys, I think the show has gone over an hour our new thing is working. We have had no glitch. Have anybody it's seen a, a glitch? A have anybody time. seen any glitch? And and um, but I am going to open up for questions. Anybody we'll want to? We'll take a small break. Yeah. We're going to take a small break, but I just want to let you guys know my brother Jordan, brother Ryan, they here. They're in the warm house of the straight prison. In the good health. They were they were tortured. They were abused. They were put into captivity. Really? Why? Because of the love for Jesus. It just came down to Jesus. And guys, if I really wanted to cause problems, I would have shown up. But I brought my two, my two innocent looking brothers. I mean, like, <laughs> you mean, like, like, I mean, you, I mean, they, I mean, they just got the, 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 the I mean, just young faith. Like, they won't do any harm. I brought them. I mean, they're the one that people just come up, just want to just rub on their cheeks. Can I just pin them? They're like, and they're the one. I mean, I brought the most least, the least. Uh, 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 intimidating brothers I'm not touching your cheeks at all. and they got arrested and you know why they got arrested because of Jesus Jesus because they're the light of the world we are the light of the world we can't you can't we can't we can't hide even though as, as bad as Jordan and Ryan was trying to blend in with a whole bunch of white folks he tried to they try to blend in but here's their problem this is their problem they had too much light Maybe they need to put a sun blocker or something. Put a light blocker. Did you guys put your blockers on? What they call sun blockers? That's your problem. They didn't put this sun blocker, so they just went out their butt, just let it all hang out, and they were just shining, and Ron spotted them from a distance. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to take a break here, and guys, great. please have your questions. This is good, man. We have everything working here. We that. haven't had any issue, we and like I told you guys, we found the issue. We got this new computer. And uh, we were using a smaller computer to try to do all of this stuff, and uh, this we're just means doing too much. yeah, we were just doing too much with with a, with a small so really machine for, for, for the audience. It was yeah, for the audience. so we did this for you guys, so you can see. I don't mind spending money to bring quality stuff, and yeah. so we're gonna keep continue doing this stuff. And, um, and I'll just say this, guys, it does take money. So if you guys have it in your heart to donate, there's the link in the description uh, for all the stuff that we. Uh, have to put together for uh, for the YouTube channel, so yeah, just throw it out there. Yeah, I'm gonna look. I'll look into that, Al Al Willis. I I will look into that affidavit thing too. So um, he, he was joking. Though. Oh, he was joking. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know. <laughs> he said I've got an affidavit for sanity and sound. Oh, life. okay. I see that. I just saw the last one. But we are looking into something like that. So all right, guys, we're gonna take a break here. But a and, man doesn't do affidavits. He yeah, man, don't. We do notice. Yeah, yeah, affirmations exactly. All right, we'll go on a quick break, Saints. We'll be back. We'll be right Start putting back. your uh, questions in now, and uh, we'll see you guys soon in a little bit here.
All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, while you guys are putting your question here, yeah, what you talk? Huh? I can see the screen. Yeah. So, guys, I just want to read something to you guys. So, guys, for you guys that are, um, um, let me let me do this here so I can see the questions. Let me go here. I'm gonna read something to you guys here out of Matthew seven. And I want to. Um, I know I did a lot of reading today. It's good. I mean, it's better, more word, less me, right? Um, but guys, I, what I try to do is to try to use what I'm experiencing, guys. I'm document. This is my way of documenting because I don't want to forget, guys. Sometimes when you're in this walk, you forget the trials and the tribulation that Yah has brought you through. And literally, we are experiencing persecution on a level um, because, I mean, literally, the, the, Jesus said this would happen. And, and in Christianity, this does not happen. You do not experience this persecution. You don't get kicked out of churches. You don't get hated on. You don't go to jail for being a Christian in this country. But you will go to jail for being a commandment keeper. You will go to jail when you have the Ruach HaKadosh. You will go to jail when you abide in Yeshua HaMashiach. These are the signs that follow them. These are the stuff that Jesus said will happen. He warned us. That's why Pastor Dow gets a lot of flack. This is why he gets persecuted. This is why he's hated on. This is why people say vile things about him. So, guys, when you're going through this stuff, embrace it. Don't be like, oh, people are hurt. Guys, this is not, this is not for the, the, the faint-hearted. This is for people who understand. This is the people that, that has grit. Embrace it. Rejoice. When you're being persecuted, it's a sign that you're in the truth. If you weren't being persecuted, then you're not in the truth. I mean, just like Jesus said, it's about being the salt. We need to be the salt of the air. If we lose our, if we lose our savior, our flavor, then, then we're not, we're not even good. We're not even good enough even for manure for shit. Literally, you ain't good for shit, right? I mean, this is the type of stuff that you hear. So let me read something to you guys here because I wanna, I wanna show you what Jesus said here. Now, people will tell you that you know I'm gone crazy, whatever, but I'm not. But listen, seven fourteen says this. Well, I mean, let me, before I go here, is that 714? Where, where, oh, let me see here. What did I say? Matthew 7, right? Okay, yep, right here. So look, I'm going to start right at Matthew 7, verse 13. So listen to this, guys, okay? Listen. And I hope you guys have some questions here. When do you get a bill? I don't know when I'm going to get my bill back. That's a good question. We're in the process of trying to figure that out. <laughs> yeah, but if you find that answer, let me know. But these people are stealing. But anyway, listen to this. Matthew 7, 13 says this. Let me read here. It says, Enter, enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many, and many, Christianity is the number one religion in the world. Next to uh, Islam, uh, which is the second religion, the most uh, the popula populated, populated religion in the world. But anyway, many there be in which will go in threat. There at, sorry. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. And listen, guys, few, few, few there be that find. That's why Jesus says in Matthew 6, 33, he says, seek first my kingdom and my righteousness. He says, and all those things that you look will be given to. So guess what? The few there will be that find it. So you gotta be, you can't find something if you're not seeking it. You know, all of us that came into this truth, we were seeking. And now we found by the grace of Yah, he revealed, removed the veil from our eyes so we can see. Let me keep reading. 15, beware of false prophets. Do you think we're false prophets or is Ron Young the pro false prophets of our day? It says, which come to you in sheep clothing, but inwardly, inwardly they are raving wolves. Now, didn't that describe Green Bay how beautiful it is? People smiling in your face. They look like little sheep. And the whole time, they're, I mean, they're, they're ready to rip your head off, tear you apart. I'm experiencing, guys. I can't make this thing up. All I'm telling you is what I have seen, what I've experienced. I live with a woman who I thought was a sheep, and the whole time she was a wolf, ready to rip me apart. She already knew she had evil. When, when And I got another show that I'm going to do that my, my ex-wife never really loved me. I'm going to show you how I should have seen it, but I didn't see it because I didn't have the law. I didn't have his righteousness. But I had a woman that really never loved me. My new Ishaya, she loves me. She loves me. You know how I know? Because she obeys me. But I'm, that's going to be for another show. But it says, beware. It says, he says, but here they are raving wolves. 
And he said, and you shall know them. Listen, guys, it didn't say you may have to guess this. He said, you shall know them. Jesus, how will we know them? He says, by their fruit. Can't you go look at any fruit tree and tell you, can't you tell what, what type of tree it is by looking at it? You don't have to guess what type of tr fruit tree it is. You can just look at it and say, this is the fruit tree. And you can even tell if it's a good, uh, uh, a good tr uh, fruit tree or if it's a bad one. You can, we all need to learn how to be fruit inspectors. Jesus calls us. He says, you will know them. If you did gardening, you will know these terms. And I don't even do this. I want to do this so I can actually really even understand to another level. He said, you shall know them by their fruits. Listen, do men gather grapes of thorn figs or thistles? Even so, listen to this, even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. Jordan, Ryan, did, 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 uh, did uh, Ron Young do good to you or evil? Evil. Wow! They both said evil. And I had their evil. That's two to three witness right there. So guess what? If he did evil, that means he's evil. He's evil. And we can show in Torah that he's evil. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not their opinion. He did evil. He did evil. We showed him good. They, they actually, these guys actually showed hospitality to uh, Ron, and he showed them what? He's called the 911 and put them in jail. He actually pressed charges. They wouldn't have done it. He had to press charges. Ron Young pressed charges. And I know why he's doing it, because he's pressure of not losing his job. They want him to say, hey, do you, are you, what's up with you and Kabir? You need to prove to us. It's like initiation. So he had to do something to show that, look, I told you I could be, I could, I could, I could be serious with Kabir and put him in jail. Hell, I was even trying to put a bullet up in his ass too. But, you know, he just didn't get, you know, get too excited so I could do that. I'm telling you, I really believe that. But let me read. It says, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but corrupt tree bring forth evil fruit. Ron Young, you're corrupt. Eileen, you're corrupt. Christianity, you are corrupt. You are wicked. You are not functional. Is that what you said? Malfunction? <laughs> you, you, you're not functional. You're wicked. 18. A good tree cannot bring forth evil. Listen, a good tree cannot bring evil. Fruit. Neither can corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. See, Ron, you can't bring good fruit because you're corrupt. I mean, you can't bring good fruit because you are corrupt. Christianity, you can't bring good fruit because you are wicked. You are corrupt. This would, unless Jesus is lying, how can you be corrupt and bring good fruit? Because if that's true, then Jesus just lied. Yeah, you guys are going to celebrate his birthday in two days. In vain, you worship him. Every tree that brings forth not good fruit... He says, fruit is hewed down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits, you shall know them. You guys are going, you guys are going to be going to the pit of hell because you are corrupt. You're going to be cut down and you're going to be thrown to the fire. And don't try to come here and turn this into, take this little clip and say, I threatened you. I'm going to cut you down. I did not say that. I'm just quoting Jesus. But now I'm in trouble because I'm associated with Jesus. Isn't that crazy? So let me read this one thing and then. This I want to show you what I and then I'm gonna I hope if there's no question I want to show you what I put on the Facebook of uh, of uh, Providence and it got taken down. Can you believe this? It literally got taken down. I did not put my own opinion. All I did was put Jesus. I put Jesus quote on there and they literally took it down. So if you guys get a chance, go to Matthew chapter 15 and I'm going to read. And here's my thing. Do as, you, do as you guys wish, but if you guys go to Providence Academy on Facebook, look up the part where it says, come on, sing, or uh, what is it called? It's, here it is right here. Oh, children, come. Here it is right here. You're going to see this thing. Oh, children, come. Go in there and, and, and copy and paste this scripture on there and see what they do. Maybe yours will stick. Maybe because my face was on it, it didn't stick. But go in there and let's see this. Let's do an experiment. And let's see if we can get this scripture put on there to share the gospel to Providence Academy because of the birth of Jesus. Right? Let's let's enjoy the festivity. And then here's what I put on there. I said, but and this is what Jesus says. But he answered and said unto him, Why do ye transgress the commandments of Yah by your traditions? For God commanded, saying, Honor thy father and mother, and that 
that cursed father or mother, let him die the death. But ye say, whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, it is a gift by God, by whatsoever thou mightest be in profit by me. And honor not his father or his mother, he shall be free. Thus have ye made the commandments of God of none effect. By your traditions, Christmas, Easter, Sunday, Ye hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophesy of you saying, this, this people draw nigh unto me with their mouth and honor me with their lips. Listen, didn't they honor? This is all about honoring him with his lips right here. Go to it right here. They honor him with his lips, honor him with their mouth. But watch what Jesus said. God, I'm just quoting Jesus. That's all I'm doing is quoting Jesus. This is what Jesus says. These people draw nigh unto me with their mouth. Honor me. He even says, you honor me. You honor me with their lips. But their heart is far from me. Ron, your heart is far from him. Christianity, your heart is far from him. You guys speak. with Your, your words are like smoother than butter. And it, it means nothing. You are far from him. This is what Jesus said. But look what he says. But in vain... But in vain do ye worship me. Christmas, it's my birthday, okay. But in vain do you do Christmas. In vain do you do Easter. In vain do you do Sunday worship. Teaching for the doctrines, the commandments of men. Jesus never commanded us to do Christmas. He never commanded us to do Easter or Sunday. And guess what? The reason why they love Christmas and Easter is because it's the biggest revenue for the Christian church. This is where they're going to make their money. This is payday. End of the year. This is payday. Everybody's getting their money in, trying to get tax right off. Churches are about to flourish. You got people who live in wickedness and they're about to get a tax right. It's not they giving because they want to give. They're giving because they want to get a write off. And so at least they want to control their dollars and give it to the church. And the church is not going to get rid of Christmas. We don't, you don't see straightway do. We don't get our big money, money don't come during the debt season. Not because there's no Christmas for us. But this is a big holiday. This is big for the Christian church. That's why they don't want to keep the commandments yet. And they want to do these traditions of men, commandments of men. So guys, if you guys can't see it, then Yah's not dealing with you. If you have eyes to see, ears to hear, blessed are your eyes. Blessed are your ears because you can see and hear. But those who don't, you guys just not meant to be. You're doomed for the pit of hell. Somebody has to go to hell. Everybody can't go to heaven. And it's not going to be a lot. It's going to be very few people. But many, many, with all those sons and daughters I had, all of them can't make it. Only the ones who choose to do the will of the Father. And if they can dishonor me now, me, that they can see who's provided everything they have come from me. If they can dishonor me and curse me. How much more are they going to do it to Yah that they cannot see? So anyway, that's I just wanted to show you guys this stuff. Just I'm not crazy, guys, okay? I got people who are under my authority, okay? I got people that have to follow my lead. I got to do what's in the best interest of the community. I got people that I got, I'm responsible for. So I got to be competent. I got to be a person that, that got to be forced. I still do everything that I've done. Nothing has changed. The only thing has changed that the hate, it continues to grow in this community for me. So you guys can believe what you want to believe. But hey, here's my side of the story. You see my two brothers. You can say we're racist. We hate white people. But obviously, I got two brothers that I love dearly. I love dearly. Okay. I would I do anything for them. And so there you have it. This is this is the truth. So is there any questions? You guys have any questions? Anything? Except for the when do you get your bail money back? Uh, I don't know when they get that. I guess they uh, they get they have to go to court. So I guess the way it works is they have to, to show up to court. And when they show up, and uh, you know, depending on what happens there, you know, I guess I'll get my money back. We'll see. It was about two thousand dollars. So thank God we had the money to do that. Any more questions? All righty. Well, guys, this is a good show. I think it was a good show. If you guys think it was a good show, please hit the like hey, button. No please subscribe. There was no interruptions, guys. We were able to do this stuff. The new computer we got, we got this uh, Apple uh, 8 core. Um, it really helped a lot, right? Did it help a lot? I mean, oh, did, yeah. did it ever get high or anything? I mean, 
Nah, I mean, nah. Quiet as a whistle. Quiet. The audio, guys. The audio is good. So just give a thumbs up, guys. Hit the smash like button. This, guys, we really try to do quality work, and eventually we're gonna be. We're right now in the process of working on our Patreon account. I want to put some stuff, some very important stuff on there. Things that I'm learning about. Uh, these things that I'm learning like going through these cases. Things that can help Israel to become set free. Literally come out of her, my people. We can literally come out not just physically come out but we can come out legally we can come out we can really come out and be a nation within a nation we can do it it is it is it's there for the taking but we just got to educate ourselves and um and yah has allowed me if it wasn't for the divorce if it wasn't for these guys going through we are actually are are the guinea pigs and i hate to use the word guinea pig but we're actually the guinea pigs are experiencing what you can and cannot do and we're learning the freedoms that we truly have but if you don't have the freedom you don't have any rights if you don't know your rights so it's very important these officers are wicked people the judge the public servants are wicked people they they they, they, they practice wickedness they, they they're dysfunctional <laughs> literally they're dysfunctional and they're not going to do what's right they don't matter what you're right. i was talking to a person a, a public servant i asked him i said let me ask you something when you when you swear somebody in don't you swear them in and you they swear to support and uphold the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of Wisconsin? But how come they just can't put in there the statutes? How come they can't put in the codes? How come they can't put in the county? How come it's always just those two things? And the very thing that you uphold, you actually break. You don't even uphold or support. So anyway, he said it was a good question. He said he's going to look into it. So anyway, well, guys, this story will die down. Just wanted to just kind of close up. I want to answer any questions, but guys, we're going to move on. We're going to continue to live in peace. But I just want, to, for the record, I or my associates, <laughs> like we're, I or our associates will not step foot again at Providence Academy. My sons can be graduating. They can even have an emergency. I will not show up. I will wait until they move off of location. Uh, I, I'm, it's very clear. Ron Young do not welcome the light. He does not want light to come onto that school. So I will not show up ever again you never have to worry about me or my association ever showing up you don't have to worry you just don't have to worry about it but if you want to go on and be panicking and do the proverbs be wicked because the wicked do flee so you can't help flee because you're just like a cockroach you know now we may drive by because we have to get somewhere and you may see our light from a distance and you may panic but hey we got to get from point a to point b from time to time okay but you don't have to worry i will not Go to Providence Academy. I will not go to any W Lutheran. I will not step foot ever again on any of those schools that my sons and daughter go to or any school. There's no reason for us. But those schools in particular, because I know they may have concerns, you don't have to worry. So hear from me. I'm saying in a calm voice. I'm saying it. I give you my word. I, don't, don't we have to? Isn't our word our bond? I don't have to sign a contract. I give you my word. We will not be there. So if you're trying to get me arrested or killed, you're going to have to find another way. But you're not going to be able to. And I won't even come to any school events. So even if the school has an event outside the school, I will not show up ever again. So you never have to worry about Kabir ever showing up and bringing the light of Jesus. I get it. You guys love darkness and I'll allow you to keep your darkness. Anyway, do you have anything to you want to add, uh, Brother Brother David? Uh, nothing to add. If you'd like, I can go into announcements. Yeah, you can go into announcements. No, and if no one had questions, I guess, I mean, you, you know, I know I, I must do a good job in uh, talking or something because you guys don't have any questions. I must, I must, like, when you want to have a question, oh, he didn't answer your question. Oh, I, oh, dang, he answered that question. So I, I just take it as a compliment then, so. Right. <laughs> but, uh, yes, Saints, so thank you, Brother Kabir, for another great show. Uh, Saints, as you see, uh, saints, non-saints, I guess whoever's watching. Uh, we're going to go through some quick announcements. So uh, first day we have scripture study or scripture teachings with uh, the brothers and brothers segment. Teacher Shane, Elder Doug, Elder Donner, or Deacon Bell are usually doing a blog talk radio show. Uh, if you guys would like to tune in on every first day at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, the number for that, I guess the blog talk number has changed a few times, but um, let me pull it up real quick because it's the one on the website, I don't believe it's right. I think you can still call that one, but it's still, let me see, one second here. The CPU is at 4.6, huh? Yeah. That's crazy, yeah. guys. You, you got, our new <laughs> computer, new. our computer is off the chain, guys. I'm telling yeah. you, this is so, this is beautiful. 
Like we, I mean, we have this thing called CPU. We gotta talk to uh, Brother Shannon. Yeah, but shout the, out Brother but, Shannon. Yeah, hey, Brother Shannon. Shannon. Hey, we got the computer, Brother Shannon. Thank you so much for your wisdom. This is the same brother that helped me with my um, my gate, uh, helped me with my cameras and everything. He suggested that we get this computer, and now it's like it's beautiful. It's literally beautiful. Like we're literally barely using any CPUs to make this thing work, and and we're using two cameras. We. We're doing different things. Now we're gonna see how far we can take. Now it. we're gonna see how far <laughs> we can maximize it. So what? Okay, now how many core did we, our old computer have? Two. We only had two core. We got a computer now a that has processor. eight core, huh? It was a two core processor. It's a two, it's a two, two core, core processor. Now it's an eight core processor. So we have like, uh, like, like triple. We quadruple. Right. So hallelujah, hallelujah. We literally like. So anyway, guys, guys, I, you know this. Guys, while he's looking this thing, guys, I just love y'all. I really like my, I mean, just, <sighs> There he is, Brother Shannon's right there. Man, traveling to work. Traveling to work, man. Guys, yeah, I'm just telling you guys, man. I love y'all. I love the people of y'all. I love y'all. I love his commandments. My life is so big. I love my Ishaya. I love my brothers. I love my sisters. I love the young ones, the little uh, lads, lads and the offsprings. I mean, I love them, man. I mean, it's like, guys, I'm telling you right now, I can't make this thing up. If I was to go back to my old life, it would be a downgrade. It would be a super, super duper downgrade. Look at, like, guys, it's not perfect here at Straightway Praise Land. We have good days. We have bad days. But I'm going to tell you, a bad day here is better than a good day. I'm talking about an awesome day. An awesome day in Christianity. It can't even beat it. I love my community. Even them going to jail. We were up to 4 o'clock in the morning. I had to go bail. Let me, we I mean, in Christianity, you never had to do that. I had to bail my brothers out. We were in the county just looking at walls and looking at cameras and even talking to ourselves just to try to entertain ourselves. And he's like, and you know, the whole time we're praising Jesus. We're praising Jesus. And then we see our brothers. We hug him. We kiss. We give a holy kiss. I mean, man, it was like, man, my brother has been set free. I mean, guys, we're living the word. And it's not like we're looking for trouble. We are peaceable people. Shalom, shalom, shalom. We came in peace. And Ron took us out. And they brought six, seven cop cars and ten of them around. And it just off the chain. You can't make this thing up. I'm looking forward to see what we're going to get charged for. I, 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 when, when that come out, I'm going to let you know how it goes. But I'm telling you, they should, they should, all charges should be dropped. Yep. They should all be dropped. If anything, they're in trouble. They in trouble because what they did went against their constitutional right. What Ron did was trespassing on a whole nother level. I mean, these people are wicked. Wicked. So anyway, guys, I love y'all. I can't. I, I know. I just want to say I love y'all. I love y'all. And I love his people. I have found his kingdom. I have found his righteousness. Seek first his righteousness, his kingdom. You know, when I found the kingdom and the righteousness, do you know the food? clothes, water, all that stuff was given unto me and more and some. Guys, this is the way to go. And I'm just thankful that Yah was so gracious to open up my understanding, to open up my eyes, to open up my ears. I'm glad that he loved me enough to give me a dream, to wake me up, to keep me, to take me off the path that I was going on and put me back on his path. Man, he's truly my shepherd. He lead me in the path of righteousness. For his name said, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, the Green Bay Police Department, jail, whatever, Ron Young's lair, whatever, and his, and, his, and his staff comforts me. I will dwell in the house of Yahweh with all the days of my life oh, forever. Yeah. So guys, I'm telling you, Yah is good. Oh, yeah. I can glorify, I can, I can praise, I can rejoice that my reward is great. Christians can't say that. We have fruits. We lay hands on the sick, they're healed. We cast out devils. We speak in new tongues. We can even eat poison and I get hurt. That actually happened this week. Dang. Bro. Guys, these are the signs that follow. These are the signs that follow. Man, I can't believe this. And we keep his commandment. We have the faith of Yeshua HaMashiach. What are we doing wrong? I'll tell you what we do wrong. We got too much light. We got too much light in the dark world. 
When you get home, if you're home, turn off the light. Just turn off all your lights. Turn it off. And just get a little, if you have a little, uh, what they call these things, lighters. Just open up a lighter and see what that does. It stands out. That's what it looks like. That's why Ron was able to spot my two brothers because it was dark. And then, boom, two lights showed up. And he, he had to get to the light. And he told the light, you must leave because we want it to be dark. We're uncomfortable with your light. And if you are not being persecuted, it means you're probably not in the truth. That's what's happening. Yeah. That's what's happening. That's how you know that you know him. So anyway, let me calm down. I love Yah. I love Yah and I love his people. Do you have anything you want? You, I just, yeah. I got carried away. I digress. You're good, bro. Hallelujah. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so I just left off on uh, first day, uh, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, the Brothers segment. If you guys want to listen to that, you can either go to the Blog Talk Radio website or you can call 310-982-4226 to listen in on your cell phone. Uh, looks like there's not much going on on Mondays. Uh, Tuesday, they usually have scripture study, but it is canceled throughout the dead season. Uh, fourth day, Wednesday, we have the Berean moment. Mm. Make sure you guys tune in every single Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Central Standard Time on the KGB 94 TV channel. Uh, fifth day, Thursday, Sister to Sister with Sister Ashley and Mother Jennifer. If you'd like to listen in or go to the Block Talk uh, Radio website, you can call to, uh, also 310-982-4226 to listen in. Uh, and they also do it uh, live on their YouTube channel on Straightway Help Meets. You guys can go check that out. Uh, it's all those uh, channels are in the description below in this uh, in this video. Six day Friday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Pastor Dow does a live radio uh, chat <coughs> with the Saints. If you guys want to call in, and make yourself known to the ministry, and have any questions for Pastor Dow, we encourage you that you call in that day. And you can call the same number that I've been giving out, that 310-982-4226. And you, you would be able to speak with Pastor Dow if he's able to get to your call. Um, seventh day, Saturday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, there's a Shabbat service live at straightway.com. Uh, it's live every single Saturday, every, every uh, Shabbat. If you are not able to, uh, for whatever reason, not able to get on the website, um, and you prefer to watch it on your phone or whatever have you, you can go to YouTube and search Straightway Live or go to youtube.com slash straightway live and you'll be able to watch Shabbat service there every single Shabbat service at 11 a.m. That's pretty much it. Uh, Brother Kabir, any closing words? Hey, I want to say one thing. I want to give a shout out to Straightway News, Brother Ugly. I got to tell you, Brother Ugly. I try to make it a point that Straightway Praise Land watches the news. That go. is a great source to be able to see what's going on at Straightway. So every time after Pastor Dow does the blog talk radio, uh, Brother Ugly has the Straightway news. I love it. I mean, he I don't know how he does it. He literally, if, wow. if I ever want to get a flyby of what's going on at Straightway, uh, what's going on at Straightway, and I'm talking about everybody. I mean, he watched, I mean, get a little one from Michigan, every, and he's letting you know. So... Please check out uh, Straightway uh, News um, on YouTube, um, and so I subscribe. So I'm 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 there always checking out the news, see what's going on. Um, two guys, I just want to let you guys know. <clears throat> remember what I've always told you guys. I'm going to continue saying this stuff. Remember, remember to be faithful in the little things, especially in the dead season, when it, when things can kind of be minutia, seem like there's nothing going on. Be faithful. And stand firm. Stand firm to the end. These days, as we continue getting closer to the end, we're going to continue being tested. These are these are trials and things that we have to be, we got to be refined. We got to go through the fire so that we'll be perfect on the day that we get to be in the kingdom. So until then, remember, be faithful in the little things. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for coming here week in and week out with me. Remember the green moment that's coming up this week. And also... <clears throat> And also, guys, um, um, I guess, yeah, just be faithful in the little things. I guess that's all I want to say. And shalom, shalom. It's KGB. It's KGB. We gon' say it right. We only tell the truth. Straight, straight, straight from the scripture.
straight way. Do you straight? No chaser. The true straight way. Straight from the scripture. Straight way. Do you straight? No chaser. The true straight way. For this truth, they really hate me. I hit them like a safety. On my way to the mountaintop, ain't no way they gon' stop me. When you live this life, you only get one shot. Time is running out, but you keep looking at the clock. But for me and my household, we're gonna be doers of the world. It's KGB, KGB, Live Show. We gon' set it right, Live Show. We only tell the truth, Live Show. We gon' set it right, Live Show. The truth straight way, straight from the scripture. Straight way Do you straight? No chaser The true straight way Straight from the scripture Straight way Do you straight? No chaser The true straight way Straight way